Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Civilization VI running on Intel HD 520 graphics. Uh, we're running this at the defaults for the game, which is 1366 by 768 and minimum detail settings. And before I start, I'd just like to thank um, some of the people at Intel who very kindly sent me over a code for testing uh, Civilization VI with. Um, I've been buying a bit of hardware this month uh, for testing HD 620 um, and it's sort of noted on Reddit I couldn't really afford to buy Civilization purely for testing purposes and they very kindly sent a code over. Um, that's not to say we have to say anything positive about it. Um, they've said to be honest uh, but obviously I have to be honest with you as well. Um, so looking at the game running on HD 520, we can see here we're typically in these early stages averaging around about the 30 frames a second mark. It does dip down in places and we're using the built-in benchmark in the game here which gives quite a nice combined processor and graphics load. It's essentially loading up a scenario in the game and having AI automatically play it. So you do see, even though what's happening on the screen doesn't vary vastly over time, um, the frame rate does differ just as the computer calculates its turns, um, which then means power is being moved away from sort of the GPU and the rendering side to the processor side. Um, so you can see here now like frame rates are down to about 16 frames per second. And that's because the game is going through calculating what it's going to do for that AI turn and then as it starts going on to the action phase frame rates come back up again now to around 20 odd um, as things are happening. So it's quite actually a nice demonstration of turbo mode working on these as well. As for frame rates, like I say, I mean, it is dropping down to sort of the teens there, um, which if this was an action kind of title, you'd say is going to be sort of struggling for playability. A game like Civilization, though, you're going to find when it's your turn to be taking action, frame rates will go up because you don't have those AI tasks in the background. And then when you're just sort of watching and playing through those turns, frame rates should degrade then. But since it's just things moving around on a grid, it's not really going to affect how you play the game. So not sort of perfect frame rates and we're having to scale back the detail quite a lot to run it on HD 520 satisfactorily. Um, but if you've got an Ultrabook equipped with this you are going to be able to play the game and won't, you know, you'll have a worse visual experience but overall gaming experience should still be reasonable. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to see us testing in the future. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos as we post them and check out our previous content as well as we have lots of different game tests on different platforms already uploaded. Thanks for watching.